Ground, this is the cockpit. We are commencing the ground run checklist. Harness secure. Displays are initializing. Chain's clear on my side. Copy that, removing the last ground power unit now. Stand by for engine start. Today, for the first time in history, we're going to reveal how this giant helicopter is engineered and manufactured. Let's go. Looks good on this side. How's the bore? A little hot still, but the dimensions look right. Every dimension on these structural components has to be within two thousandths of an inch. We're building aircraft that'll carry Marines into combat, so there's zero margin for error. This transmission gear has 127 teeth and every single one has to be perfect. We're measuring down to a tenth of a thousandth. The tolerance on these transmission gears is less than one ten thousandth of an inch. We're checking critical dimensions every few operations. This housing has to mate perfectly with other components, so we measure constantly to stay within tolerance. The CNC machine spindle with a large carbide cutting tool engages the titanium rotor hub surface, cutting at slow feed rate of 15 inches per minute. A precision bore is being machined into the center of the titanium rotor hub, creating the critical splined interface. What are you getting on flange 7? Reading steady at 51.43 degrees, perfect spacing. Check the journals on the lower right, making sure there's no residue. Looks clean from here, but let's double check the ports. Agreed. Contamination is unacceptable at this stage. Okay, slowly now. We need micro adjustments on the descent. Just a fraction left. All right, hold it. Easy, easy. And stop the lift. This gearbox transfers 22,000 horsepower from three engines to the rotor system. Every bolt gets torqued in sequence to exact specification. The fit looks good on this one. Yes, the seals are seated correctly. Clear on this side. Okay, easy now. Watch the clearance and push forward slowly. Easy now. Watch the pins. We're clear on this side. Looks good. Keep coming down slowly. Every bolt on this gearbox cover follows a specific torque sequence. We work in a star pattern to distribute clamping force evenly and ensure the seal stays perfect. Clear on the left side, keep it coming up slow. Roger that, moving right. Steady descent now, maintain three inches per second. Watch the alignment dowels, we're clear on the port side. Bring it home, easy. Okay, easy now, we're right on tolerance. Full insertion confirmed, the gap looks perfect. The main gearbox is now fully integrated into the 99-foot the aluminum airframe.
This external lubrication test verifies that the gearbox system has no blockages before the critical first engine run. We're monitoring oil pressure at every bearing location and checking flow through all the internal passages. The automated system ensures perfect fiber orientation, critical for the structural integrity of the 50-foot blade. The vacuum bag consolidates all those carbon fiber layers into a solid laminate. We need perfect vacuum seal or we'll get voids that weaken the blade structure. Easy, keep it centered, watch the rails. Clear on this side. All right, slowly push it in now. Six more inches, easy now. Position verified, start the seal sequence. Slow and steady, we have perfect hole alignment on the forward section. Copy that. Maintaining pressure. Steady, just a fraction more. Pin four is secure. Gap uniformity is perfect. Bolt in position, moving to the next one. Snugging this one up now. Clear on this side. Every rivet on this airframe gets visually inspected. We're looking for proper head formation and flush seating because these joints carry flight loads for the next 30 years. Align that edge right there. Got it. Need another fastener here. Make sure the torque is set on that fitting. Roger that. Every seam on this airframe has to be perfectly sealed against water, water, dust, and pressure changes. The tail boom takes tremendous stress from the tail rotor anti-torque loads. Every joint has to be sealed and every rivet has to be perfect. Measuring 99 feet from nose to tail, the fuselage is undergoing final systems installation before the camouflage paint application. Proper connector installation is critical for flight safety ensuring reliable electrical connections throughout the aircraft systems. Secure the clamp at station 42. Torquing it down now. Verified on the tablet, looks good. Move to the next section. Check the operation on this fixture, all greens. Fittings are torqued, we are good to go. As the camera tracks the impressive 99-foot scale, the final inspection ensures the matte finish meets tactical requirements. Bring it down another three inches, slowly. Watch the strut on the starboard side. Looks good, steady as she goes. 
The landing gear has to support 88,000 pounds on touchdown. Every mounting bolt gets torqued to exact specifications and verified with ultrasonic testing. Check the pressure on this line against the schematic. It looks slightly high, and let's verify the coupling torque. Verify all tie downs removed. Confirmed, engine one is clear. Copy that, proceed with the lift sequence. Ground control to crane operator, lift is stable. We are clear for traverse to the east. Roger that. Moving to the east at six inches per second. Altitude steady. Easy now, bring it down another three inches. Steady, steady. Watch your alignment right there. Wide shot showing all three GE T408 engines installed on the upper CH53K fuselage spine in their characteristic triangular arrangement. These flight control computers process every pilot input and translate them into rotor commands through the fly-by-wire system. The CH-53K's nervous system relies on this massive wire harness. We're testing every actuator and verifying response times before the rotors are installed. Test point 402 nominal. Copy that. Logging hydraulic pressure steady. Pressures are nominal across all three engines. Hydraulic output is stable. We are green for the next sequence. The aerodynamic profile looks correct here. All right. Blade one is cleared for installation. down slowly, just a few more inches, aligning the dowels now, hold it steady. Torque complete on position four. Verified, moving to five. Hold it right there, stop the descent. Stopping. Okay, we are clear, lower again. The seven rotor blades, each measuring 49.5 feet, create the distinctive 79-foot. The blade fold system is critical for shipboard operations. Each blade pivots hydraulically and locks in place. Folding sequence looks good. Confirming stowage alignment now. The folded rotor blade now lies parallel to the fuselage tail boom, demonstrating the stowed configuration for shipboard operations. The tracking crank process ensures all seven blades follow the same tip path plane within tight tolerances, preventing excessive vibration. Ground, this is the cockpit. We are commencing the ground run checklist. Harness secure. Displays are initializing. Rotor engagement imminent. Clear the zone. Roger that. Moving to safety. Rotor engagement authorized. N1 increasing smoothly. Ground check complete. Tracking is nominal across all seven blades. Vibration levels are well within acceptable limits. Ground crew confirming all systems are nominal. We have 85% N1, 100% rotor RPM, and all channels active. We're measuring vibration at dozens of points across the airframe. 
The seven blade rotor configuration keeps vibration levels incredibly low compared to earlier models. The ground run data confirms zero anomalies. Engine operation and rotor tracking are perfect. We are clear for hover testing. Clear on the left side, coming through the door. Hold it steady, watch the tail rotor. Looking good, keep it coming. Chain's clear on my side. Copy that, removing the last ground power unit now. Stand by for engine start. Circuit breakers overhead panel. Checked and set. System status. Verified, all green. Center engine start complete. Red engine accelerating, oil pressure green. Rotor RPM stable, increasing collective, weight on wheels decreasing. Roger, looking good on center line, lots of dust. She's up. Beautiful hover, well done team. First hover success means every system worked exactly as designed. Thousands of hours of manufacturing and assembly validated in one flight. Shocks in on the main gear. Roger that, setting the brakes. From metal to machine, from factory floor to flight, this is how the world's most powerful helicopter is made. Mission complete.